So it's kind of kept him in, well, kept him at a level where he's not too dangerous. Although he is still fairly dangerous. And he's got a website, in fact he's got several websites where he sells um, all sorts of weird things. Because he, he thinks he's the king of England as well. It's a really weird thing, you know, you would think, okay, he's the reincarnation of Jesus, he also claims to be Yahweh as well, he also claims to be so many other things, he claims that physically his um, great-grandmother was directly ascended from the Habsburgs, the, uh, like, well, you know, obviously one of the great um, European royal families, and... Yeah, I know those. <laughs> yeah, and he claims that he should be the king of England, and he sent along, he said he's done this, I assume, well, he's I mad. I've seen him make these claims since he's already claimed to be God. Yeah. <laughs> he sent you know, papers. You can't, you can't get any better than God. Like, yeah. Why do you need to be the king of England or the king of anything? <laughs> I, I, it, it didn't even uh, know that God was a descendant of the House of Habsburg. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. You yeah. can't think he picked another house, but way. <laughs> yeah. And he uh, basically claims that he sent along uh, a number of letters to the Queen, supposedly legal papers, telling the Queen to get off the throne and allow him to be uh, crowned the uh, the King of England. Yeah. So he's really a very, very confused man. Or probably just a really mad con artist. And well, he doesn't, he doesn't really understand how that lineage thing works. No. If she, if she got that, I bet she had a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she actually opened it herself. No. She's got, well, I'm, she's sure, got I'm sure someone had a good laugh. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Probably ran through the whole castle. Oh my god, Queen, you've got to see this. <laughs> he, I don't know if they, you can just address anyone with Queen, but... <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but also, coincidentally, I see this with a lot of uh, cult leaders... They love Hitler. Again, you know, they all seem to think, oh, Hitler, he wasn't such a bad guy, or he's a nice guy, or... or, or Brian actually likes uh, the KKK as well, which is really, you know, uh, a bit further than destiny, to be entirely fair. He believes that... Um, he believes in the Jewish Illuminati, as Bernard seems to, but it seems to be a continuous, like, um, <clears throat> like trend... In many of the uh, cults and, you know, dangerous groups, they seem to believe that Hitler was a nice guy and all that kind of jazz, you know? Lots of crazy things. Yeah, I'm, I'm against uh, demonizing Hitler, personally. Mm. Um, I can understand that, yeah. I, I'm also against idolizing him as the face of the entire Nazi thing, because that was just a way more complicated issue. Totally, totally. So, so I think everyone who's saying he's the <coughs> devil and everyone who's saying, oh, he was such a nice guy, it's still the same the, the same type of um, making one person way more than they actually were. Yeah. yeah. Just, I'm not really in favor of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, um, one of the things I find um, really shameful, I find this from a lot of people in Britain, they say some, obviously, you know, they say some horrible things towards... Um, you know, things which are very, very racist, to be entirely fair, towards German people today, that they're naturally aggressive and, oh, oh, they're all like this. You know, some of these people who are bigoted. And, you know, I agree about the uh, the nature of uh, Nazism being that Hitler was not the only guy. It wasn't like mm. he was a one-man party. He was just simply the, um, well, the head of it, obviously. And a lot of people... He was the face, he was a good talker, and he got really popular. I agree. That's actually why he was placed where he was in the end. Mm. They could have found another guy, easily. There were several other in line, but he was the one that the people loved, so... Yeah, I mean, t uh, technically, he just put people in charge, and he just let them do what they wanted to, as yeah. long as he didn't have to get... He, he didn't want to have to deal with it personally himself. Yeah, he didn't want you to get know, his hands he... dirty. And that was very so true with... Nobody up there did. Mm. It's like, we've, we've got people for that. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of um, Himmler, of the SS, obviously. 
he mm. uh, went along uh, to a, um, I, I can't remember if it was a death camp or not, but where a number of Jewish people were going to be executed. And he was, he went extremely pale, staggered off and was very, very sick, from what I understand from, uh, I can't remember the precise source of this report, but it was on a documentary. And, you know, they were very good at giving out orders. You know, telling, uh, obviously, you know, uh, young, impressionable, like, soldiers to, you know, do terrible things. But when it came down to actually seeing the results of their words, their orders, they were, well, cowardly bu uh, bureaucrats in the end, you know? Very cowardly. Yeah, also, also there's, when people are, I think I did this video once about Destiny and the Nazis and how I see... Uh, relationships between that mm. um one that i'm not very proud of by the way not because i'm not standing behind what i said but i phrased it very vaguely and i just tried to do this quick okay so i think my grandma wasn't really that good mm. and it was kind of mm. kind of uh yeah really vague in what i was saying um but the thing is that there's evil in most people it just takes the right uh, circumstances to get it out that's and very true. people tend to forget that. I mean, that was just this entire Nazi thing that was really unhappy circumstances and many people were in trouble, mm. economically speaking. And uh, if you give people that thing that they want, they are going to do everything you ask them to do, if it helps them. Mm. So, I mean, when you're starving, you, you don't really care whether your neighbors are the one that suffer because, I don't know, they're Jewish. I mean, all this hate, it's just really convenient for when you already have all this anger in you and if you're really desperate, it's easy to turn evil and do evil things under these yeah, circumstances. Any, anybody who's really interested in looking at that should look at uh, what's called Milgram's Experiments. And it was like a series of tests that were conducted in the United States to figure out like how, what, the, what links would people would go to to actually hurt other people. Hmm. And they found out that if the... Uh, if the if the person who's doing the torturing or the, the hurting the other person has been given assurances by someone in authority that it's okay, they'll do it. It, 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 it basically gives you, um, it kind of, I guess it kind of gives you, uh, you know, a clean slate for your conscience. You know, because someone else in authority <laughs> has given you permission to do this. Mm. The know, greater good. It's it, for all. It, yeah. it makes it it makes it more palatable, and they they found out that more often than not, uh, the 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 way the experiment was arranged, you'd had one guy uh, would answer questions, and another guy, if he if the the person didn't right answer the right question, had the ability to electroshock the other person, hmm. you know. And they found out that you know, hey, uh, the the person on the other end. You know, might be like screaming in pain, going, "Oh, please don't do it anymore!" You know, and and they had a lot of cases where the guy was like, "You sure you want to continue doing this?" And they were like, "Yeah, he's he'll be okay. Just continue mm -hmm. administering the the uh, the, the electrocution." Mm -hmm. And they would continue doing it. I think those were actors, though. Like the test was on the person being asked the questions. I think. Yeah, the people. Yeah, the uh, the people doing the screaming were the actors. The test subjects were the people delivering. I the think torture. I've seen that. I've seen it on an episode of a TV program called. Uh, it's called Balls of Steel, and it's a comedy program uh, which used to be on Channel Four, and um, it ended with all these comedians doing different things. They had this guy called Alex Zane, I think his name was. Um, and he did this sort of like game show thing where there'd be two people: a guy who would. Uh, I have to, um, you know, electroshock. Well, if you got a question wrong, you'd get a shock. And the person would be like, you know, okay, you know, they get it wrong, you have to shock them. So, you know, uh, you have to, sh well, sorry, uh, if you get it right, you have to shock the other person. And it kept on getting stronger and stronger for every question you get wrong. And the person yeah. who is an actor, the person apparently being shocked, they um, basically... Uh, faked uh, having a heart attack or some kind, you know, being charged so much they end up actually, you know, keeling over and appear to be like unconscious or even perhaps dead. And the person is there panicking to death and uh, 
<laughs> you've got this uh, game show host, Alex uh, Zane, saying, uh, OK, uh, they've got to be drawn away. Um, you did sign the, the paperwork before saying you take full responsibility, didn't you? You've got this person, uh, a member of the general public, looking like uh, he's just killed a person. He's thinking, <laughs> my God! And he's being told by this game show host, uh, wave at the camera and say goodbye, uh, you know, <laughs> like it's trying to finish the game <laughs> show. Oh, yeah. You know that's actually a party game. Yeah. I played that once at a party. This little uh, the, there's a thing where you have got four people having these kind of banana shaped things, mm. and there's a blinking thing in the middle. And when it goes red, you've got to press it. And uh, the one who pressed it in time does not get electroshocked, and all the others will. <laughs> and I think it comes in three different. Uh, yeah, uh, what's the word? Damn it. It's uh, three different strengths of electroshock thing. Right. Oh, okay. And they even have a warning label, uh, not for people uh, with heart problems. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but when people are drunk, they really like playing that. <laughs> because pain is funny, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I didn't want to play it. I don't really like that electroshock thing. It also make, makes your hands stand up yeah. in the wrong conditions, and that looks stupid. <laughs> oh, about this uh, cult mentality and uh, Hitler and following thing, I really recommend oh, yeah. uh, The Wave. And the book I can even recommend to Destiny people because it's written for kids. It's really simple. 